Hello, my name is Matt Ayton, and I'm a certified SolidWorks expert with Go Engineer. This quick tip video shows a very basic demonstration of the mold tools in SolidWorks. I start the process with a model that obeys the design rules for injection molding. I'll employ the parting lines, parting surfaces, shutoff surfaces, and tooling split commands to produce the mold model around the part. Creating the mold relies on designating where the halves of the mold separate. That idea is embedded into each of these commands. I'll start with the parting lines tool and designate the direction that the two halves of the mold will come apart in this direction of pull entry box. And I'll use the front plane to do so. Notice the little arrow that pops up showing a direction of pull. Now SolidWorks will do an analysis on the part to determine where the parting line will be created. I'll click Draft Analysis, and SolidWorks finds that I've got adequate draft entirely on one side of the part, and also entirely on the other side of the part, finding a single edge to represent the parting line. I can green check it and produce that feature in the design tree and the blue parting line on the graphics in the model. Next, I'll create a parting surface from that parting line, and a preview is shown in yellow. I need to reverse the direction and give it some excess. This is going to represent the split between the two halves of the mold. I can green check that command. And now I need to fill in the middle where that hole is, and that's done with the shut off surfaces command. SolidWorks will find that interior void and the edge that corresponds to its perimeter. I can green check that result. And now in addition to the part model, I've got surfaces that represent the split between, between the two halves of the mold. Now I can click the tooling split command, which is actually going to produce a sketched feature. And what SolidWorks is asking for now is a sketch plane. I'll choose the parting surface that I created, and I'll go normal to it so I can see it straight on. And then I'll use a center point rectangle and create a rectangle that falls inside the perimeter of the parting surface. When I ex exit the sketch and go isometric to the model, you'll see a preview of the two halves of the mold. Incorporating the surface features that were created through the other commands. When I green check that, then I have a complete mold model, top and bottom half, split by those surface features that were in created as part of the parting lines, parting surfaces, and shut off surfaces commands. I can use an exploded view to get a little better look at what was created. And I can hide those surfaces that SolidWorks created for me to then see just the original part along with the mold halves. This has been Matt Ayton with Go Engineer. Thanks for watching.